Hey guys, happy Molecule Monday. Today I'm going to be talking about CoQ10 or ubiquinone. CoQ10 is a coenzyme that's found in every cell of your body that is involved in energy production. It's stored in the mitochondria, which you might remember from your biology classes, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. So again, CoQ10 is a coenzyme involved in the production of ATP. It's very important for energy production within our cells. And as we age, around the age of 35 to 40, that is when we start to see a decrease in CoQ10 levels. And CoQ10 has also been shown to be an antioxidant. And in regards to the skin, there are a few studies, although they are limited in number, but there are a few studies both human trials and also some lab studies in a petri dish to show promising and positive effects of CoQ10 on the skin. But the research I feel is in its infancy still. As scientists, we always want to see repetition. We also always want to see several studies showing consistent data before we can draw, you know, before we can draw conclusions and be confident about those conclusions. But based on the few studies that are out there, it seems that topical application of CoQ10 actually has very positive effects on the skin. So for example, a study with human participants actually showed that applying topical CoQ10 actually increased the levels of CoQ10 in the skin, whereas other papers actually showed that oral supplementation of CoQ10 did not increase the levels of CoQ10 in the skin, but the topical application did increase these levels. And these studies also showed antioxidant effects of CoQ10 for the skin and also protection against UV damage. So CoQ10 applied directly to the skin has been shown to reduce oxidative damage caused by UV rays and it also has been shown to decrease the depth of wrinkles. By lab studies and also by human trials, it has been shown to be a powerful antioxidant. Another thing that's very attractive about topical CoQ10 is that it's very photostable, so it's, it does not degrade readily in light and in sunlight. So that is a major drawback and a reason that I don't use vitamin C serums or vitamin C creams. I'm planning to make a video talking about this in the future, but in short, I don't think vitamin C serums are worth the money because there really isn't a vehicle for vitamin C for topical application that is very stable. It's not photostable at all, readily degrades in the sun, and that can cause irritation for the skin when it breaks down into um, when it breaks down into different compounds. So that is another aspect of CoQ10 that is very attractive, that it is so photostable. It seems to be very stable. Studies have shown promising the results that it protects against photo damage. It's a powerful antioxidant. So I know that CoQ10 is becoming a lot more popular in skincare. I've seen some products advertised for skincare. So I personally feel that there should be more studies before I could recommend it and say definitely that this would help you. But it seems like there are no harmful effects from the studies. And it, yeah, it doesn't seem to be irritating for the skin. And so I would say that if it's something that you want to try, um, I would not go spend a ton of money on a product with it because there honestly aren't studies that show definitively the concentrations needed for it to be effective. So, yeah, and I haven't, and I also haven't noticed any products that really indicate the concentrations either. So, I feel like that's kind of where the research, there needs to be a step further with the research. What concentration is required for you to see optimal results? But if it is something that you want to try, um, I did see some products that were very reasonable in price. And again, the studies showed that it was not irritating. So if it is something you want to try, especially if you are, um, especially if you do have more mature skin, because again, it has been shown that with age, co um, CoQ10 levels decrease in the skin. And there are studies that support that topical application does increase the levels of CoQ10. So if it is something you want to try, I would you know, definitely recommend trying a product that's not super expensive, but maybe you could try it and just see how your skin responds. I'll put a picture of it here. I saw on iHerb um, a lotion that was about $11. Um, that contain CoQ10 and so I thought that was a pretty reasonable price if it's something that you want to try 
but again it's not something that I've tried myself but I just wanted to give you the information on it let you know what research has been done on it all the research on it so far is very positive but again there hasn't been near as much research on it as vitamin C for example but I will say that with vitamin C, I don't recommend spending your money on vitamin C serums because, again, they're not photostable. They're just not very stable at all. So I personally don't think it's worth the money. But with a few studies that we have on CoQ10, it seems very positive, seems very promising. It's photostable. Yeah, I hope this is helpful if you've been curious about CoQ10. So I personally will not go out of my way to purchase products with CoQ10 currently until... I personally feel that there should be more research solidifying the concentrations needed to see a positive effect. I'd like to see more research with a larger number of participants and whether the results are statistically significant. I would just like to see it repeated and I would like to know the concentrations before I would personally spend um, money. But again, um, but I think as my skin matures, I think it's something that I definitely will look into since it has been shown that between the ages of 35 and 40 that CoQ10 levels do decrease in our skin and that, and that these studies support that topical application increases the levels of CoQ10 in the skin whereas oral supplementation does not increase the levels in the skin. That's my stance on it right now. I'll update you if there are studies in the future sort of solidifying more uh, the concentrations needed for it to be effective but in my opinion the research is still kind of in its infancy but I do feel very positive about it based on the research so far so I hope this was helpful please if you have any more questions about this you can always ask me in my comments down below and thank you so much for watching I hope you have a great day